everyone welcome back to my channel today is another shop my stash we're gonna go through the products i used last week and what i thought of them and we're gonna be picking new products to use this week let me know if you guys have any new ideas for shop my stash i was kind of thinking of skipping this week's shop my stash but then i was like no i need to rotate my stuff i'm just trying to find i don't know i'm kind of getting not kind of bored i guess not I don't know. They are my most viewed videos, so I know you guys aren't tired of them. But I don't know. Let me know a way that I can switch it up. I think maybe this week we'll do a um, theme because I haven't done a theme in a while. So, if you love Shop My Stash videos, definitely continue watching. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. I do upload three times a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. And let's just go ahead and jump right in. So the first product I had this week was this Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. I have mine in the shade Macadamia. I really enjoy this foundation. It's really nice. It keeps me matte. It doesn't look heavy on my skin. I think it's a really good foundation. I picked this up at TJ Maxx. Yeah. A few months ago. And I really enjoy it. I'm super glad I came across that. And then those are Project Pan items. I didn't use really lipstick this week. I guess I could wear lipstick, but I have to wear masks at work and they just get a little crazy. I didn't use these to be honest, so those will just stay in here. I wanted to use this one in Inolvidable as cream blush and I never did. I did apply it on my lips one day, but it's actually really shimmery. It's really shiny, so I want to use it on my cheeks. I did use mascara this week, <laughs> of course. Uh, this is the What's Your Type Mascara by The Balm. I don't really like this mascara. I don't know if it's because I've had it for a while. It's just been in the backup drawer, not being used. It's an okay mascara. I, I don't really enjoy this. But we're going to rotate our mascara. Also did use these two liners this week. The Lemon in by r &T In. And then this one, the Neon Shockwave Liner in Outrage. It's a lip liner. I use it on my waterline. I enjoy those. Um, this one is the NYX Epic Ink Liner in Black. This is a brush applicator. And and I noticed it was leaking the other day when I used it. I cleaned it off, but I don't know. I think people were saying that they were noticing leakage on these. I like it, though. Um, we'll keep that in. And then I also did use my Pure 2-in-1 Arch Nemesis. I really enjoy it. It has, like, a brow definer and then a, like, brow waist type of end. I like this. I like the formula, too. We're going to pick a new brow pencil, and that is it. Next up, I use my ColourPop Meteorite Pressed Powder Blush. This is a really beautiful color, but I feel like this is more of like a maybe fall type of color. It's super pretty and very pigmented. Also did use the Pat McGrath Blurring Under Eye Powder in Medium. You guys, I still stand behind what I thought about this. Uh, I don't see the hype on this. If you ask me if I would recommend it, I would say no. On the other hand, that thing is super expensive. I got it on sale, but this is like a dollar. And this is really nice, actually. This is the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder in the shade Soft Light. Okay, I was more impressed with this dollar product compared to this, like, what, $30 product? I feel like this sets my makeup super nicely and it also, like, smooths out my skin. I really enjoyed this. I would definitely recommend you guys picking this up. For um, primer this week, I had these two that are in my Project Pen. I'm just about out of one. So I'm going to probably leave them in another week so I can have something new to roll in for my <laughs> Project Pen. This is one of my favorite concealers by Too Faced, the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is in the shade Light Beige. Always enjoy it. This concealer has really good coverage. That's in a Project Pen. This is my corrector that I could probably pick another corrector to use. So we'll put this one away. For eyeshadow this week, I used the Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dream Palette. And this is a really beautiful palette. Mine came broken. That color is beautiful, though. I used all of the middle shades. This shade right here, I used that color as well. Really enjoy this palette. I think Lunar Beauty has super nice formula. And if you can get it on sale, I would definitely recommend you guys wait. But if you don't want to wait and you just want to try it, I would definitely recommend it. Super good. I got this on sale at Ulta and I also have Moonspell by Lunar Beauty and I really enjoy that palette as well. The formula is really nice. I would definitely recommend. Also use this a few times. Not a lot, but a few times. This is the BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlighting Palette. 
And this has really fun colors as highlight. I didn't use many. I think I used like two or three shades out of here. Um, I didn't really reach for this. This is something I could probably declutter in the future. I kept it because of the color scheme. I keep going back and forth whether to keep or declutter. Like when I'm decluttering, I don't want to get rid of it because of how unique this is to my collection. I don't have a lot of like dual chrome or these kinds of highlights in my collection. So that's why I keep keeping it. But I just don't reach for it. But the times I have, I do enjoy it. And the formula is really nice. Also used my After Dark after dark palette by bad habit um this is actually nice too this is like color scheme up my alley i really enjoy the formulas kind of powdery this brand doesn't even exist anymore um but yeah i, I enjoyed this palette i thought it was nice to, again my kind of everyday kind of palette so we'll be picking something new for highlights this week i used this urban decay afterglow in sin this is really light it's like a pale gold it's really pretty though but I did find that it was kind of light for me right now. And then the Becca Gradient Sunlit Bronzer in Sunrise Wave. So this has Folly Sand, Capri Coast, and Bronze Bondi and Opal mixed. So this is nice. I do enjoy this one. For blush, this week I had both of these. The Kiko in 102, like a perfect everyday kind of blush. And then this Mally Beauty... Perfect peach blush. This was really pretty as well. I really enjoyed it. It's not too peachy. It was like really, really nice. And I enjoyed both of those. I did finally use this. The Tristique Baby Blush Stick in... I'm not sure what shade. Bora Bora Coral. This is actually a really pretty color. But can you guys see how light it is? And when I tried to apply it on my cheeks, it kind of like blends to nothing. I, I like the color. I think it's a really pretty light coral color, but I feel like the pigmentation isn't all that great. I don't know. I thought it's a pretty color, but the formula wasn't amazing. And then lastly, I also did use this Milani uh, setting powder in the shade Radiant. I use this as highlight. I think it's really pretty and it gives a really beautiful glow to my skin. I actually enjoyed this. It's not shimmery or anything. It's really pretty and subtle and but beautiful, kind of like a glow from within. It was nice. So, so I went and grabbed all of my little sheets that you guys gave me ideas for. Shot my stash so long ago, months and months ago. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I don't really have any new makeup to use this month or week because i haven't been shopping for makeup i've been mostly focusing on nails i do have a nail tutorial if you guys are interested it's already up on my channel so you guys can check that out but let me go ahead and pick something from in here and then we'll shop my stash so this says makeup collabs makeup collabs is what the theme is this week so yeah let's go ahead and do that Okay, so I do have a makeup collab that's a spray, which is this one, Morphe times Jeffree Star. So we're going to go ahead and use this. I don't believe I have a foundation that's a collab. So, hmm, what should we use? I don't think people really do foundations as collabs. I know actually Jackie Ina did a collab with, kind of, with Too Faced. And she created more Born This Way shades, so maybe I should pick this. Um, this is the Born This Way Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage in the shade Light Beige. So I guess we can go ahead and pick that. And then um, there's definitely so many collabs of lipsticks that I have over here right there by MAC. Maybe we can pick one of those. So I think I'm going to pick this one right here. I think it'll be a good lipstick for blush because I don't really wear these kinds of colors. This is just a collab that MAC did with like, I don't even remember. It's, I think it's, yeah, a collab. I would not wear this kind of color on my lips, but I can use this as a cream blush. And what else? Maybe I can go over here with my Jeffree Star stuff. I need to kind of get rid of some of the stuff up here. But I do have a collab, a lip collab, that Jeffrey and Manny collabed with. Um, oh, I also have the Shane Dawson. But I also do have actually, um, the Selena one. So I'm just going to pick one, which I'm going to take this color right here. This is the, wow, that looks like 
my dog got a hold of this or something. <laughs> this is in the shade I'm Shook, and this is a collab with Manny and Jeffrey Star Cosmetics. So we'll go ahead and take this color. I mean, that's really pretty. So now let's go down in here. So I don't really have collab of everything again. So so there's nobody really that made a collab mascara. I don't think, oh, Bretman Rock and Wet and Wild. Have you guys tried that out? I heard it's super good. I had never got my hands on that. So I think next up I'm going to take this mascara here. Um, this is the Essence, the Falsies Lashes Dram Dramatic Volume Unlimited. And then for eyebrows, definitely don't have any collabs. I know some influencers did collabs. I think, was it Benefit? They did like this and that. Let's try this one. I haven't used this in a few, it seems. This is the Benefit Brow Styler. It has like a brow definer, I think it's what it's called. And then like a powder type on the other side. So we'll go ahead and take this for eyebrows. For concealer... Um, I'm actually going to take this one for correcting my dark circles. This is the LA Colors Ultimate Coverage Concealer in the shade Sheer Orange. And then to conceal my dark circles, I'm going to use this one right here by e.l.f. This is the Hydrating Camel Concealer in the shade Medium Peach. And I think we should be good there. Next up is primer, which I actually want to focus on my MAC Minis because I have a Project Pan coming up. So we'll skip regular primer from in here. Then it's powder. Actually, I need to focus on my Project Pan too. There's not that much product in here, you guys. Look, there's not that much. So I really need to focus on this. I have a Project Pan update soon, so that is going to be my goal. Collab bronzer. Do I have a collab bronzer? I don't think so. I might have actually like a face palette. That's more of a collab. Maybe we should pick a face palette today. Any blushes that are collabs? Well, I know they did collabs with like Disney. Colourpop and Disney. Um, I don't think there's really collab blushes. I think more of a face palette would be more of a collab, which maybe I should do that. Let's pick a face palette for this week. So I came all the way down to pick a face palette for a collab. So let's see. I have the Chloe Times Malika, I have the Jacqueline and Becca. Those are definitely collabs. Um, I have the Casey Holmes highlighting palette. That's a collab. That could be a good one to try to use this week. Um, this one too. This one as well. Ooh, this one. I've been wanting to use this one for a minute, but I feel like my Casey Holmes one is one that I haven't used in a while. Let me go ahead and pick the Casey Holmes one. Makeup collab for sure. I haven't kept the box. I like keeping the boxes when they're collabs, so I don't know. I just think it's nice to keep. And I have these three shades to use, so this will be good. A, a highlighting palette. So maybe I will need a blush palette. I like this one too, but I recently pulled this not too long ago. This is a collab with this girl right here. I don't follow her, but when I saw this palette, I definitely wanted it. Mm. Any more collabs? So let's go right here. I think I'm going to do brown this week. This is by Flirt Cosmetics. This brand doesn't even exist anymore. This is the Dot Dot Eyeliner Art. And it has like a brush or pretty much a felt tip. It's brown. 
and then it has like a daughter on the other side i think it's cool i wish they would have had sent me a black one instead this is cool you can do dots um i wish it was black instead but we can take a brown liner this week and then i have a black coal liner i'm using this week Maybe I'll take this one right here. This is the Appeal Gel Liner in Desert Taupe. I'll use it on my waterline, but it doesn't look very dark. And let's take this one by RNC In. It's a Monster Smooth Ride Supercharged Liner in the shade Jade. That's pretty. And I think that, that is all. So I have highlights. I need a blush and a bronze. Hmm. You would think I'd have collabs of those, but it doesn't look like it. So I do have this Beck and Chloe, and it has a couple blushes and a bronzer. I feel like this bronzer is a little too light for me, though. And then I also have the Jaclyn Hill and Becca, but these are blushes and highlight. Hi, you can see me. <laughs> I guess we'll take the Jaclyn Hill Becca just for the blushes. I'm not really going to focus on the highlights because I have a highlighting palette. So we'll focus on those blushes right there. So you have Rose Spritz, Amaretto, and Pample, Pample Mousse. So we'll take both of these. I came up to my bronzer drawer and I'm just going to take this one here. This is the Lancome uh, La French Glow in Warm Sensual Light. I haven't used much of this. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to take this. I feel like I'm kind of off in today's video. I don't know. I'm kind of tired. Waking up early, I guess. So, anyways. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take this for bronzer this week. And then let's go and pick an eyeshadow palette. So, a makeup collab. So, a collab eyeshadow palette. I'm going to pick something from like an influencer or something. I really like this one. Let's keep looking. Ooh, Jackie Aina and ABH. Ooh, I'm kind of interested in that one. I was looking at it. I need I need to show my palettes more love because this look needs like it needs more love. And what do we think? I really like this palette, but it doesn't look like I've used it much. So I want to use this. Trying to see if I should use something else too. Conspiracy is a collab. I already used that. You know, something I want to use too is my Natasha Denona Gold palette. I want to use this palette soon. So maybe I can pull both. My theme kind of went downhill, right? I don't really have browns in this palette. Yeah, I'm going to take both of these. So Jackie Aina and also my Natasha Denona Gold palette. It needs more love. Look how unused this looks. So those are all the products I'm going to be taking in this week's Shop My Stash video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!